What is up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Scorpio for November 2020. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make or like to support me, please go smash like and subscribe button. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, Scorpio, so let's get right into the reading. We got a bunch of shit, so we got the Star, Death, the Tower, all major icon, I didn't realize that. Uh, I asked for clarity for why the Tower was here, we got the Ace of Coins, I asked where it goes, and I got the Five of Swords and the Reversal. Okay, so, looking at this, I'm just going to briefly break down each card. Um, because there's a lot that's going on here, so I'm going to make it quick. So the star is major arcana for healing. This is large healing that is happening because something has changed. Um, there was some sort of loss or death in a situation uh, where it wouldn't have been a... It's not a, Death isn't actually death. It is a change. But there would have been a change in a situation um, that is still... I'm looking at this. This is still a waking pain. Usually when I get the, the star card, it's usually... It, it sometimes comes in a vein where it's not so much in the now, where you're not... How do I explain this? The star card usually comes in when you have fully healed from something. This is not the case in this situation. This is definitely a fresh wound because I see you trying to heal from it. I, I, I get that you are understanding that this change needed to happen in your life because there is somebody that is playing tricks and playing games with you with the five of swords um and i feel like this is what was happening beforehand and the problem with this is i don't think that you have fully healed from this because i feel like somebody is coming in with an offer or somebody came in um to apologize for something that has happened that has made you need to heal in the first place Sorry, this is kind of all over the place. So basically what I'm getting is I think that there was a situation. It's very possible that this was a breakup, but it does not have to be. It could have been any kind of major shocking change. Um, it could have been a loss of a relationship, a loss of a job, loss of a, a, a living situation. It could have been, it would have been whatever it is. It would have been something that would have been dramatic. It would have kind of been crumbling down. Here's the problem, though. I don't think that it fully collapsed. I don't think that whatever situation this is fully collapsed. I think that you got wind that something was on the brink of collapsing and it might not have fully collapsed. Kind of uh, like the energy that I can pull from this is like an example of somebody saying, I think that we should um, take a break and see where things go. And then that break leads to an end. Um, it's kind of similar energy where I feel like you are going through this change, you're trying to heal within a situation that hasn't completely fully evolved yet. And the problem with this is by the end of November, it definitely is going to. And the reason why is because I feel like a start did not happen. I feel like there was kind of like a promise of a new beginning. Now this came up with money um, in uh, pentacles, so it's either finances or emotional prosperity or abundance, which can, you know, kind of be anything. It, this can be the stability that you feel in a relationship. It can be the stability that you feel in a job. The key point to this is that there would have kind of been this, I am hearing that there would have been a promise. There would have been a, hey, like, I just need like a week to like figure out my shit and then we can get back together. I need like a month and then we can get back together and I promise like I'll be okay and we can start off fresh. I just need this like time. I feel like whatever that potential here was, I feel like it is not going to happen. I feel like, I don't, I don't feel like this is... I was gonna say I don't, I don't feel like it's a lie, but here's the thing. We got the Five of Swords in the reversal. So the Five of Swords in the upright represents a, a, a situation that is of defeat. Somebody stepping on toes, somebody being a jackass, somebody really trying to hurt you on purpose. But when we get that in the reversal, it is the opposite of that. So I feel like somebody... I'm kind of getting the feeling that, oh, okay... I'm getting the feeling that somebody was trying to get away with playing games with you 
and I feel like you kind of stepped in, recognized it, recognized that this potential was not going to go anywhere because I feel like almost I get this Ace of Swords feeling from this where you might have had this epiphany about this person where I think that you got to see this person or the situation for what it really was. Now I keep saying it could be a person, it could be a situation, it could be a job, it could have been any kind of situation. This does not have to be purely romantic. If you are coupled or in a relationship, I don't want you freaking out. Take this how it resonates to your story and if it relates to a relationship, then it relates to, to a relationship. The key to this is something or somebody would have been caught. I feel like you caught wind of something and a second chance could not have happened because of this realization that this person was this way. And because they are in the reversal, they don't really have the chance to continue doing this. So the good part about this is recognizing that this isn't going to continue happening because you will not allow it. Um, but it's also that feeling of the shock of things coming apart that you have been planning to do this because you wanted the second start with this person. But something changed. Something it might, it might not have even been a situation where you were separated from this person. I feel like you might have been realizing this in the relationship or whatever it was in the situation, healing from it, trying to kind of heal within it, like the Four of Swords, where you're in the situation still. Um, but this change, I do feel like this change was your ability to be aware that this is going on, this is happening. So let me pull a card for overall, where does this go? After everything is said and done, the end of the day, after the tower comes out, after you find the person out, where does this specific situation go for Scorpio? You are going to... <laughs> Scorpio. You are going to be left with an indecisive choice. So... Now, now seeing this card, this indicates to me that <laughs> I don't really think that you are done with this. I don't think that you want to be done with this. I think that you recognized that this person is doing this 100%. You recognize that this person is doing this, and now you don't know what to do. You don't know if you should stay or if you should go. There is a lot of indecision about this job, person, place, uh, job, whatever it is. Um, there's a lot of indecision, and it's kind of like you you aren't going to know in the month of November. You This is going to be a whirlwind. This is a lot of chaos because we've got three major arcana for everything. There's going to be a lot of chaos with this. There's going to be a lot of uncertainty. Um, and I'm not going to push you to make a decision because I don't think that you are in the right mindset to be pushed to this. I'm going to ask, though, um, what advice can I give Scorpio during this time in order to help them to get them to where they need to be? Okay. <laughs> um, let, let me let me channel this for a second. It's basically saying, <laughs> oh my god, it's basically saying with the repeat of that. That was weird. I did shuffle that. Um, that <laughs> sorry, I've been out of the game for a little bit, so this is a little weird that that just happened. It's not weird, but it's. I've forgotten how funny tarot can be. Um, it's basically saying exactly what I just said. Don't push yourself to a conclusion just yet. You have a lot to absorb. This has been a large shock. What the cards are trying to tell me by saying this twice um, is that the first time that I said that is the advice that you should follow. Um, I'm not going to push you to something I don't want. I don't. The cards aren't trying to push you to a situation you need to be able to balance this by yourself. You really do need to be the one that chooses for yourself. I'm not going to tell you what you should be doing in this situation um, because that is not going to be helpful for you. What you need to do is really try to balance and see what you need in your life, what you don't need in your life. This Is, is this situation, is this energy what you want to see in yourself? Is, is this what you want your life to be? Is this the energy that resonates with you? I'm not feeling that it does because if it is something that you are having such a hard time trying to understand and decide, there's a large reason for that upset. So you need to figure out yourself and what you need first before you can be going and making these decisions. You need full awareness of the situation. And it is going to take you time um, and energy in order to do this. But above all else, you are being, um, you are being told that the time that you do this in is subjective to the time that you do this in. And you're not being pushed to this. You need to fully take in the situation 
and weigh everything, weigh the pros and the cons, um, and do what it is that you have to do in order to fully be in a situation where you can better understand. Because the thing with the Scorpio is that I think that you 100% do understand what you need in the situation. I think that you're not willing to do this because you don't want change. And that kind of came up with the death card. I think that this might be a block change because you are afraid of being alone, without a job, without the circumstance of the situation. You need to, you really need to be the one that decides for yourself what choice this is going to be, and it's not going to be able to be made right now. You do need to sit with this and think on this above all else. I love you, Scorpio. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.